All right, I'm gonna do a little venom extraction from the Keystradonka Chortrix Southern Copperhead. If you look close enough, you can see the fangs. This is all pit vipers, hinged fangs. They work just like hypodermic needles. Hopefully don't release too much venom. We can get a good look at that one fang. It's just like a hypodermic needle. We get a side view. Another day I was trying to get a good picture, a good video of the, of the, the pitch. You mm -hmm. can see the pitch right there. That's why they call it pit viper. And usually this is about halfway the technique of milking a snake, but I'm not getting all professional. I'm just trying to get an eye, let people get an idea what the venom looks like from the copperhead. There's a proper way to milk a snake and there's a half proper way to milk a snake. This is the improper way that I call it. Usually it does good to massage the glands and plus you got to uh, work around the top towards the, uh, the nose a little bit to encourage. As you can see real closely. And with these types of snakes is they don't release a lot of venom. It's very little venom. Sometimes you'll come across some large ones that can uh, pop a larger venom yield. It's very seldom. He's only got one thing out. Yeah. Toxic venom it attacks the red blood cells and causes local tissue damage. And if you're unfortunate enough to get bit by one of these snakes, uh, the good news is it's a rarity that you'll die from this bite, but there has been fatalities in the past. So it's just a little little sample of a venom extraction. It's, it's nothing professional, but I just want to give you an idea of what the venom sort of looks like and how they bite down and do all that stuff. And again, this is the Southern Copperhead. I'm gonna show them in the glass. There's not gonna be a, it's probably gonna be no too much venom. So, Cause I'm improperly milking the snake is what I'm doing. There he goes, he's biting down again, but I doubt he's, he's putting any kind of uh, significant amount of venom in the flask and the venom does dry actually, actually the venom the real venom the top the properties and stuff in them are like a powdery substance the liquid is is it forms of like saliva from the snake and that's the southern copperhead